I'm Sherry and this is Gardening in the North and as you can see I'm not alone today. So this is my beautiful niece Lila. She's here for lunch and she's going to help me out in the garden today. So we have a slew of things that we want to do. First thing we're going to do is pick as many of the beets as we can. So I have roughly I think close to 300 beets planted out there. So we're going to go out there and see which ones are ready to be harvest. We're going to harvest all the ones that I think are ready. We're then going to head over to the raised bed garden and we're going to harvest all of the Boston Morrow squashes. Now, if you watched my last garden tour, you would have saw that I took off my size nine flip-flop and put it on top of the biggest squash I have and it was still a lot bigger than my flip-flop. Next we're going to plant some more carrot seeds. Now I don't know if any of you follow Mallory from Quebec Homestead but she put out a video a couple months back on how to plant carrot seeds using a mixture of water and cornstarch. So if you haven't seen that please check out her channel. It's an awesome video, but we're actually going to use that method. I want to see if it's a, a workable method for my garden and the two types of carrots that we're going to be doing. There's the first one and the second one. And basically I have just thrown them all inside this jar and I'm just going to do a mixture of them. So we're going to pour this into the bag. We're going to mix it up really well. And then we're going to cut the corner off. And Lila's going to use this bag very much like as if she was icing a cake. And she is just going to do strips of carrot seeds down the garden bed. It's going to be awesome. The next thing we're going to do is take some mealworms out to the chickens and the two of us are going to put them in our hands and see if our scaredy <laughs> chickens will actually come up to us and actually eat out of our hands. Does that sound good? Yeah. Yeah. Are you scared at all? A little bit. <laughs> <laughs> You'll be fine. The chickens are probably going to love you more than they love me because they're scared of me for some reason, even though I'm the one that goes in there every day and gives them treats. So let's head over to the waist high raised beds and take a look at the beets. Okay, so these here all along here are my beets. And so what I want you to do is I want you to look down. Let me see if I can find a really good one. Okay, so can you see in here? Can you see how big that is? That's pretty big. And that's kind of the size that we're looking for. So we're just gonna start pulling them out, the big ones like that, mm -hmm. and we're gonna throw them in the basket. Now, I wanna show you, now you see this one here? Yeah. You see how it's smaller? It's not ready. No, it's not ready. So we'll just, okay, look at here. I'm gonna let you do this one. Can you see this one? Yeah. Okay, so you grab the stems that belong to that one, and there's usually a group of them, and then you pull hard. Awesome! So these beets here are the albino beets. So they are white beets. And you just throw it in the basket. Okay, and so we're just gonna keep going. Let's see here. Oh, this one, uh, yeah, this we one. Can, yeah, we could take that one. And so if we remove some of the big ones, it'll allow the smaller ones to grow a little bit bigger. Oh, got it? It's stuck. There you go. Don't worry about breaking the leaves because we cut these off for salad anyways. <laughs> there you go. Okay, so let's see what else we have in here. Some of them, oh, that one, I would say this one we could probably pull and the one next to it. Yep. Oh, that one fell out. That's okay. Oh, that's fine. Sometimes that happens because they're too close to one another. So you could probably pull this one too, because that one looks pretty big. Oh, yep. oh I think that's the biggest one yet. <laughs> oh, they're too concerned about the, the potato patch. <laughs> um, oh, what do you think of this one? Yeah. Yes. <gasps> this one's massive. Look at this one! Okay, let's see. Perfect. Uh, 
on. Did we miss any on the way here? So this is also a really good time to pull your beets. You want to know why? Why? Because if you pull them in the morning time, they're bound to have tons of earwigs on them. <gasps> You're good at this. <laughs> <That's happening. laughs> there you go. All right. Oh, there's another one. Okay. Do you know what we're having for dinner tonight? Beet. <laughs> <laughs> oh, you're pretty smart. You must take after your mama. No, my dad. Oh, my dad. <laughs> I'm going to make sure that I don't edit that out. <laughs> <laughs> what oh, do you wow. think of this, Lila? <laughs> so stand right beside this one. Like it's pretty cool, right? <laughs> All right, let's see what else we got. Okay, so these are all beets as well. Let's so check let's check them. And I think I'm going to, let me see. I'm going to stick it right there on top of the onion. Now, oh, oh, time. oh my gosh, <laughs> look at this. Look how big this one is. And I thought I was pulling out a good one, but no. Oh, and another one. <gasps> Find all the big ones. Look at all the big ones. <gasps> one. And those are beets too, with the purple oh. leaves. Okay. These are those. <gasps> That's a... I win. <laughs> Dang it. For the first time I found a bed one. Yes. Yes, your first one was bigger than that one. Oh my god, look at the roots on this one. <laughs> what is this? Why is it so long like that? It's a big carrot! <laughs> it's not, it's a beet! <laughs> <laughs> oh my god! Okay, oh. these ones actually just pulled out, so we'll just take them. Okay, one more area, right okay. here. Now these ones are golden beets, so they are going to be an orange color. Like oh, look how pretty it is. Show Wesley. It's pretty. So why don't you go over and take a look at this one. It's a tiny one that looks like a big lemon. It does look like a lemon. It's just orange though. So this here, how, how heavy do you think it is? See if you can pick it up. Oh. Probably like five pounds. You think? So yeah. what we're going to do is break it off and I'm going to pass it to you and take it over to show Wesley so they can get a good picture of it. I don't want it to break. What is that? That's Boston Morrow squash. Wow, that's huge. Okay, and then... It's bigger than Nanny and Poppy. Yep. So try not to touch. Oh, look. So you see how it's kind of soft here? Yeah. That means that we've had worms yeah burrowing into it yeah it doesn't mean that the squash isn't good it just means that when i cut it open i need to be really careful that yeah. the piece i keep doesn't have the worm in it yeah. so i'll get you to put that into the wagon okay so this here it is it's called uh, lady cadiva squash Ooh, looks like a pumpkin okay let me see, why don't you break that one off, the, the vine. Is it prickly? Yeah. A little bit, sometimes the stem is a little prickly. You have to be careful. Do you need mm -hmm. help? Yep. <laughs> it hurts. Okay, let me see. Sometimes, there we go. I think I have tough gardener Oops. hands. There you go. Last one over here. Um, actually, so I'm not gonna take this one. Okay. Do you know why I'm not gonna take it? Can you 
by looking at everything that's around here, do you think you know why I won't take this one compared okay. to the other ones? Because it'll kill the vine. Right. Well, and then well, no the vine more. is the vine is very healthy on this one. Yeah. And this is green still, so this is a Lady Godiva as well. Yeah. And it has and to get a little bit more. That's right. You're so smart. Okay. So let's see. Oh, look at this is really sad because the pest ended up getting at. This one's not going to grow either. We're going to have to give it to the chickens. Yes. You want to go put that in the barrel or the yeah. wagon? It looks really gross. <laughs> <laughs> Two drink crops. Awesome. And, and you can just throw that in there. Okay. Okay. And I'm going to put the scissors down. That's a lot of dirt. Spread it. Yep, and you can use that. Because I mean, <laughs> oh, it smells weird. It smells a little like poo. It, it is actually. It is worm poo. <laughs> Ew. <laughs> <laughs> I don't know. So when you're a gardener, you just don't care. You put your hands in it anyway. <laughs> okay. Just so, to do a bookcase. So the next thing that we need to do now that this area is ready is we need to do lines. So I'm gonna do the lines over there and then you're gonna do the lines here, okay? Because okay. that's where we're gonna squirt the carrots into. Yeah. Okay, so let's move this back. What is that for? That's to, in order to water the boxes when it doesn't rain. So if I have like three days of no rain, then I'll turn the hose on and that will actually give everything in here a drink so nothing dies. Okay. Okay, so let's see. And it doesn't need to be perfect. Oh, I thought we were doing holes. No, we're going to be squirting it in just like it is icing on a cake. Okay. Okay. You squirrel it. Okay. The tiny little squirrels. Right. right, and then I'm going to get you to do a line there all the way down to here. Yep. Perfect. Okay. Now, the fun part. So, we're gonna take this bag and we're gonna take our seeds. Okay. I'm... So, I'm gonna hold the bag. You're gonna pour all of that in. Liquid and seeds, right in here. So, water and seeds? Yep. Here it goes. Gum towel. <laughs> okay, now let me I'm gonna tap it. Well, we can use our fingers. Do you want me to use my fingers and do it? We don't want to lose that many seeds. No. We need a lot. Because that's a lot of lime. Yeah. Okay, you it's hold exactly the bag. Four. So you hold ones. the bag both ends so that we don't and I'll just make that. So I Because I want up. well I've got lots of no, don't zip it up yet. Okay. I got lots of seeds in here. In my dirty hands. Alright, that's probably the best we're gonna get. So we're gonna zip it up. Yep, we're gonna zip it up nice and tight. So then we don't spill. Is it good? Yep. Okay, now you're gonna massage the box the bag and get all those seeds mixed up into that gel mixture that we have. And you can see that they're starting to mix in there. Alright. It's all feeling gross. <laughs> <laughs> Alright. So I'm going to show you how I'm going to do that line there, and then you're going to do this line here, okay? Okay. Okay, so let me see. We only want to do... That much? Yeah. And I'm going to hold it like this, that way. Perfect. Okay. Are you okay? Yep. Just got a prick in there. I, I wonder if it's the prick from the, the squash plant. Okay, so I'm going to push all the seeds down. All right, Mallory at Quebec Homestead, I hope this works. <laughs> Hopefully it works. If for whatever reason it's not the right method for my garden, that's okay. Okay. Oh, it looks really weird and gross. I know. But you can see the seeds in it. Yeah. Okay. 
Let me do one more and then you're gonna do the next two. Okay. Actually, it does look like clear icing. Okay. Oh, do you want to hold the whole bag? You do it all, okay? Yeah. And don't worry about, yeah. Not that much. No, you're doing a perfect job. There, now you can do the next line. I'll move out of your way. It's a little messy. So let's push it all down because there's so much in there. Here, hold on a second. Let's do this. And then you hold this, because that's keeping it all from the top. There you go. <laughs> it's yucky. No, it's good. You did a good job. Because you know what? I know, but gardening is so much fun. And, you know, next time you come over here. Now, where'd the hole go? Oh, my gosh. What are we doing here? Here. Oh, my gosh. Okay. The next time you come to visit me, you have to come straight to this area so I to see, see if all of your hard work has finished, has paid off. Yeah, paid off. And if there is greenery here, then you get to pull some and see if there's any carrots there. Yeah. Okay, so now we got to get our hands dirty a little bit. I know you don't want to get your hands <laughs> in the worm poo, but that's what mm -hmm. we're going to do. So all we're doing is covering it over. <laughs> She's using the shovel. Come on, Lila. <laughs> Get your hands dirty. You pick up frogs. But yeah. you're afraid of worm poo? Yeah, but I peed on me. I don't, I don't care if you peed on me because that is wet. <laughs> I won't pick up a frog. <laughs> okay. Now what about, yeah, can you reach them? Because you have the shovel. I'll cover Awesome. So we just want to make sure we don't see any of that liquid. So yeah. the whole idea of putting it in that liquid is to keep those seeds hydrated mm. so that they can actually start to germinate. Because yeah. a lot of the time when you plant seeds, you have to water them continuously. Mm -hmm. And sometimes people just don't have time to do that. Yeah. So we're going to leave this because it's actually supposed to rain again today. If it doesn't, I'll come out here and give them Water. a sprinkle. All right. So what's the next thing that we're going to do today? It includes worms oh, again. Yes, we're going to give the chickens their treat. Yeah, you can just leave that there. And <laughs> let's head to the chicken. What we're going to do is we're going to take a handful each. We're going to hold our hands out. And we're going to say chick, 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 chick. And when we say that, they know that it's treats. See how they're all coming around us? Yeah, they <laughs> smell the worms. Yes, and they hear my voice and they know that I bring them treats. So, we're just gonna take a handful. Oh, Easy cute. peasy. Oh, <laughs> I don't like the feeling. I know. Oh, he's coming, or she. Pretty girls, come on, pretty girls. Come here. Come here. Come on, girls. Hi, Pigeon. What are their names? So some of them have names and some of them don't have names. And so the reason we didn't name all of them is because we're not sure if some of them are boys. So they might be roosters. Some of them got names. Oh, they're yelling at us. Some of them got names because we had a feeling that we wanted to name them that. So do you see the gray one, the full gray one? Yeah. So she obviously is a chicken, but she looks like a pigeon to us. So we named her Pigeon. <laughs> then the white one, do you see the one up in the coop right now? Yeah. That's Chicken Little. So Aww. when yeah, so when she was little, she was all white. Chick, 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 chick. Why don't we do this? Why don't we put them here, and then maybe they'll come over closer to us. Chick, 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 chick. You can do one more batch, and then that's probably good for them. Come on, girls. 
girls. Look at look at all the worms. Girls, that are dry. Now, do you see the red one that's standing up on the block? Yeah. That's he like ginger. Aw. He looks like a. Is it a girl or a boy? Well, fingers are crossed that they're all girls. We don't want any roosters because roosters don't lay eggs, <laughs> and oh, we yeah. want them to lay eggs. But then they'll have chicks. No. Oh. They will only have chicks if we have a rooster and we let them sit on the eggs to grow that, that chick in the egg. Come here. Come here. Look at They're going crazy over the worms. They just realized, oh, chicken little. Chicken oh, little. She saw Jaxie on the outside of the, the fence there. She's not sure. Oh. Come on, girls! I'm not sure. Oh, you want to give them a little handful? Okay. See if they'll come to me. They're such scaredy, scaredy cats. Yeah. You want to sprinkle us? That one over there looks like a rooster with all the colorful things in it. Don't head. say that, Lila. We don't want any roosters. I know, but it looks like it. <laughs> I know. It's really pretty, eh? Yeah. This one here is probably my favorite looking one because of the different colors on her. I like the with the brown ones that look like the alpacas. <gasps> I love my like, little silky. That one looks like moose tracks. <laughs> oh, oh. <laughs> I tried to touch it. They don't want us to touch it. Come here. So let's say. Goodbye that, to our friends. Yeah. Before we say bye to our friends, I want to thank Lila for coming and helping me out with my chores today. I also want to thank her for my gardening in the north bracelet that she brought yep. me. I made it. Handmade. <laughs> Handmade. <laughs> Gucci. Yeah. <laughs> <laughs> Thanks for spending time with us.